This is a photograph I took of the moon, 7th of June 2018, 4.38, just after dawn. Now the way the moon's shadow is, and this is something I've been noticing much much more and I'll try and get more video content um, because sometimes it looks bright and other times it does not look right and this looks wrong by quite a few degrees and the, the half moon at certain times of the day really does highlight it. If you look at the half moon really early just after dawn or the opposite side moon really late just as the sun is setting you will see this happening in the sky and it will raise the question in your mind of what is causing the moon's phases because I don't believe that the sun or the sunlight the traditional explanation is correct the traditional explanation is that the moon occults itself the moon creates its own shadow so just as if you were to stand in front of a spotlight your back would be in shadow so the moon stands in front of the sun so its back is in shadow so there's always exactly one half of the moon it's not always it's not exactly 50 percent is it um on the sphere but one half is facing the sun in light and the other half is always back to the sun in darkness whether it's the same um part of the moon or not is irrelevant whether the moon's spinning or is stationary it's the moon itself as a sphere in space there's always one half facing the sun one half not the same as all the other planets allegedly hanging in space now this is just after dawn this photograph um, so what we see here and this is what raised my interest with this is the the shadow looks fairly perpendicular which would mean that the sun would have to be 90 degrees on to the moon um, and we're not in this equation now obviously it can't be shown in this photograph and I don't have video to accompany it I'm gonna try and get more video footage um, of the moon and this and this particular effect but the Sun is off picture to the left um, off the screen and it's just above the horizon a few inches off the screen to the left here um, it's it's just rising in the West so if the Sun is about this level then how is it producing that shadow so the shadow is there it looks like it's a little bit off perpendicular so if anything is pointing slightly up from 90 degrees there um, but what you can see and you could see with the naked eye is this glow on the bottom left quadrant of the moon and that corresponds to both where the Sun literally was in the sky it's over here and it corresponds to the red tint on the underside of these clouds here which is the red tint of a Sun low down either just above or just below the horizon which is exactly how it was I can't show that but you can you can see that hinted by these clouds now I've not added anything to this photograph obviously I could have done Photoshop etc etc which is why I need to get multiple I need photographs and video at the same time to show both the shadow and the Sun but they have the glow is different to the shadow so there is some physical relationship between the Sun and the moon I believe because I believe that that Sun has created this glow of light so whether that's an object or a 
holographic object that can also interact with light? I don't know, but the two are, to me are different. The sun is causing a glow on the moon, and it is not causing the shadow. You can see a definite difference in where the shadow is and where the glow is. This is a photograph I took quite a few months ago, but again, uh, I can't demonstrate it in this photograph, but you can sort of see the hint of it that the sun is at the bottom right in relation to this photograph. So, for instance, um, like uh, if I held a mirror up, this is where the sun would be. So it's, it's nearly full moon. Um, and the sun is going down towards the right hand side of the screen um, sort of just behind my right shoulder I guess when I'm taking this photograph you can kind of see a bias in um, in the shading of that moon there's a glow around here um, which would correspond to about the height of where the sun was whereas the shadow it, this area is in shade so it kind of suggests much like the previous photograph that the sun should be over there in relation to the moon shouldn't it whereas in, in actual fact the sun is down there. Okay, so there's the moon. I mean, it's mm. two or three days away from full, I think. So the sun is still in the sky. Um, I have to check the time. Can't see the sun because we're at the back of the house and the sun is at the front. But the sun still hasn't gone down. You can see reflection there. It's not quite sunset yet. Um, you can see that the sun is behind me over the top of the house. Um, now that shadow on that moon is fully on the bottom left. Which would mean that the sun would have to be the top right relative to the quadrant of the moon but it's not it's below us and to the right it's about the same height as the moon at the moment maybe a little bit lower and to the right so really the part of the moon that should be sort of darkened is the top left rather than the bottom left the sun is low in the sky. If the sun is lower than the moon at the moment, 